Hey guys, Cody with CJC Off-Road. Today we're super excited to introduce you guys the new Carly spec lineup of shocks. Um, for those of you who have really keen eye, you may have noticed that there was a sort of soft launch as we slowly transition both the commuter system as well as the backcountry shocks packages over to a new in-house shock package that Carly has coined the spec package and that is going to be their new in-house shock and it's going to be an improved shock and eventually it's going to move all across the product line to replace both the commuter and the backcountry system. Now at the launch of this video you may notice that not all of the systems have been updated. It's probably going to take the first half of 2023 to update this but if you're watching this video later down the line all of the commuter and backcountry packages will have been updated with the Carly spec line of shocks. Now one thing we always talk about is the custom tuning that goes into these systems. Now one thing we've never shown you is the custom tuning that goes into these systems. So today we're gonna go down to Carly Suspension, we're gonna meet up with uh, Dan as well as Sage, the owner of Carly Suspension, and really dive into the tuning that goes into these shocks specifically in this new Carly Spec lineup. All right, today we're gonna to give you a glimpse into what it means to custom tune a shock here at Carly. There's several different ways to custom tune a shock. A lot of guys use weights and spring rates and algorithms. Other people will throw shocks on a dyno and try to match curves at varying shaft speeds. We do it the hard way here. It could mean 30, 40, 50 revisions on a new platform, but it's the only way that we do it because there's nothing that results in ride quality more than signing off on a butt dyno. The shock on the bench next to me here is a Carly Spec 2.0. This is one of many shocks we're tuning for several applications, Ram and Ford. Uh, let's run over some specifications of these shocks you can expect to see on all the Carly Spec 2.0s. Some highlights of this shock. Uh, we've got 6061 billet rod ends that are hard anodized. We've got a 5.8 shaft that's a hardened chrome plated steel. We've got something unique to this shock that you won't find anywhere else. It's called an HD seal retainer. This actually encapsulates the body of the shock to add additional bracing to the snap ring groove that holds the shock together. What that means to you when this thing droops out with the springs pushing against that heavy axle, it's not gonna rip the shock in two. We've got a hard anodized aluminum shock body that's a 6063 aluminum, uh, another 6061 top cap that houses our stem top bushing. And the stem top bushing itself is a bit of a highlight because normally, people use a polyurethane. Polyurethane is fine. Uh, it can be a little bit noisy in certain situations. When it comes to a stem top bushing, we always preferred rubber, which isn't available for many manufacturers. Uh, we were able to spec a rubber bushing on this, so we're pretty excited about that part of it. All those features are cool. They don't mean a whole lot to you. They mean a lot to us. Um, we've been doing this a long time. This shock impresses us. Uh, it's, it's very robust in build quality, but what really matters to you is how is it going to ride? Well, we'll dive into the tuning aspect of that now. This is the heart of the custom tuning process. What you see here is the piston assembly that's actually internal to the shock uh, on the end of the shaft. Now, a lot of customers ask, is that shock adjustable? Is it this, is it that? The answer is the, the adjustments are done internal to the shock. Uh, you basically get to tailor the flow of the oil through the compression and rebound stroke, the up and down stroke of the front axle uh, via these tuning shims that we have here. One thing that we love about this piston design is how flexible it is to us custom tuning. Uh, most shocks you're gonna hear are digressive or they're linear. This can be either, depending on how you set up the piston, giving us way more options to dial in that rag quality. Speaking to how in depth that we go on this, it's not just dialing in the piston or dialing in the shim stack. Sometimes we have to go even beyond that. The manufacturer uh, actually only spec'd a certain amount of shims that we can use. We had to almost double their list to get the ride quality that we wanted. We wouldn't just use the shims that they provided. So let's talk about what a tuning shim actually is. When the oil flows through the piston, it's deflecting a shim. And how much it deflects depends on the force of the fluid as well as how much that shim moves with that given force. So when we say that a shim bends uh, or, or deflects out of the way of the fluid, let's show what that means here. To give you a dramatic example here, not one we'd actually use in tuning, but it shows it, you'll see a base washer here. If we put this shim against it, if the pressure spikes in this shock, you'll see you can actually bend the shim around that washer. Now, another way that you could do this is you could back up this whole shim stack with more of a rate plate where it's a larger washer that matches the outside diameter of that shim or exceeds it, that'll provide kind of a ceiling for that shim stack to flex against. Now that's the limit that that shim can flex. 
As we'll do several revisions to each of these shock packages, we actually captured Sage doing a shock revision before. He's off tuning right now, so here I am in the shop actually swapping these shims out. Uh, depending on the ride quality alteration that you're looking for, you're gonna change different shims throughout that shim stack. Uh, that's gonna tailor flow in different ways, and of course you have to decide the parallel between changing these shims and what that's gonna net you in ride quality. As this is an educated guessing game, that's why there's so many different revisions. We do wanna give you some insight to show you what an involved process that is uh, to net the ride quality that we want for you guys as an end result and why we're willing to go through all of this to get it there. With the tune revision complete, shocks back together, now it's time to throw it back on the truck, go test drive and see how many more times we've got to do it or if we're done. Now we want to show you guys just how much care and attention goes into these systems. We figured when they were tuning the whole new product line for these Carly Spec Shocks, what better time to take the opportunity, go down there and just show you guys how the process works. Now we just showed you how much effort goes into tuning one shock package. Now imagine you're doing that with the commuter, the backcountry, all the different products they offer across every platform they offer systems for. And that is a ton of work. So that's how we know when a guy online tells you that his $83 spacer rides just as good as your truck suspension, it's simply not true. You have softer shocks, custom tuning, handmade parts in the USA. You truly do have the best kit possible for your vehicle. So we're super excited to be offering this new Carly Spec product across the board. Again, the commuters in the back countries all um, at some point in 2023 will be on this new Carly Spec lineup of shocks. If you have any questions about those, um, check out our website, shoot us a phone call, comment down below. We're happy to answer it and we'll see you guys on the next one.